Hey launchers, so let's talk about setting up your quick replies. As I'm sure you've seen in our how-to video on the inbox, uh, your quick replies are gonna be used here in the inbox to give you quick answers to common replies. And will, they will allow you to simultaneously manage dozens of ongoing conversations all at the speed of texting. So everyone who's receiving those messages uh, feels like they're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, which is as always the, the ultimate goal. So to set those up, you're gonna go over to the main menu drop down to templates, which is where all of your content is stored, your content hub, and click on the middle tab for quick replies. Now, uh, from here, you'll see uh, in this account, we've got a lot of the kind of common questions that you're gonna get already set up as quick replies and categorize whether, whether they're cold, hot, or warm leads. So just the top three, who is this? You're gonna get that. You're going to want a common response to that and we're categorizing it as a cold lead but these oftentimes that's a defense mechanism and that defense mechanism drops and that turns into a deal and this message can be the one that gets you there okay so asking price is too high again uh it's a defense mechanism you know there's a good chance that they're going to sell but they're going to test you and they're going to throw out a number that's that is you know over this estimate seems kind of you know illogical for the house but, you know, you get them talking and you find out that there's a lot more wiggle room than uh, you may have thought from a single text message. And then, of course, you know, you're going to get people that are straight out of the gate interested. I might be interested. And you just need a couple of minutes uh, before you can get on the phone and call them. And you want to buy yourself the, those couple of minutes. So you're sending them a quick reply to get there. So you want to think through the common responses and also just pay attention to the responses coming in to see what you're going to need in terms of quick replies. And when you have that list kind of set up of, of what you might need, then you just go up to create new and click on that button there. And then you're just going to build this step by step. So your, your category, again, is going to be cold, warm, or hot. So let's go warm lead for this one. And then your title, you always want your title to be exactly what you're responding to or something that is, is a common response as close as you can get to that response. So let's just say this person says, I'm not looking for an agent. They, mistake you, they mistakenly think you're a, a licensed agent trying to sell their house, right? So I'm not looking for an agent. Okay, so we wanna have a common reply to that. So I uh, have one pre-written. I'm just gonna press pause, movie magic, and post that response. Okay, so here we go with a, with a possible response to I'm not looking for an agent. I'm not an agent. I work directly with local homeowners, no fees or commission. If you've got five, 10 minutes, I can explain in more detail. Now you have the option here to use merge fields, but um, you know, make sure that you use them in a way that feels natural. So you got to remember the person received your first message, acknowledged it, and then replied. So their reply, you know, it's, it's always going to be short. I'm not looking for an agent. Who is this? Sure. Maybe because that's the way people text, right? So you want to text back the way people text. You know, this may even be too long for a quick reply. Keep them short. And if you're going to use um, the merge fields, make sure that it makes sense, right? If your first message said, you know, I'm interested in 57 Green Street, does your reply need to say something about 57 Green Street? No, they're aware of what the address, what address you're referring to. So kind of think through the, the natural speech response to this and use those, use them to your advantage in the, in that way. Okay. So uh, once you have that set, you can say, you know, save quick reply, and then that's going to add this to your list here. And then when you're back in your inbox and replying to responses, it will be an available option for you. Okay. So if we click quick replies here. Uh, we've got it right here at the top. I'm not looking for an agent, select it and send it to the recipient. Now, uh, here's something to think about. Okay. You want to use these for strategy, not just to blow off, um, some of the conversations that seem like lower priority conversations, use it as a way to strategize. So you imagine that you sent out a hundred batches or a batch of a hundred, excuse me and you're getting responses coming in, but you've got about 20 responses that you're trying to you're trying to get to in a timely manner. So you're using the quick replies to, to buy yourself a few minutes with uh, some of those, those responses. So imagine someone says, I'm not looking for an agent. Then you send them this response, right? Our pre-written our pre response that, that we already got. We let, let it go. 
wait a few minutes. If they don't re respond, do what someone would do text messaging. You know, it doesn't have a question mark in the statement, so just type out a question mark and hit send. That one extra little message, that strategy behind, that texting strategy behind sending that quick reply might be enough to get them to engage. So again, don't use these as part of your strategy. Don't use it as a way to just kind of, you know, hope that the conversation will continue or, you know, pick up the low hanging fruit. Really use it as part of your strategy to get them to engage. Okay, good luck.